Hey YouTube, what's up? Macman here, and today I got a great, great new application for you guys. Um, it's an application that allows you to use your iPod or iPhone as a mouse for your computer, um, which is, I believe, pretty incredible um, if you think about it. Um, you can use it for, I believe, Windows or Mac. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to have to do um, is you're going to have to go to the... Apple Store, or you, or there's actually a link on um, the internet that has their own website for Windows, since you can't get an App Store on Windows. But you're gonna have to go to um, download this application called. Let's just see, uh, just loading up right now. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I think it's like Air Mouse. Yeah, mobile air mouse, you want to download that, okay? So once you download that, that's free, so don't worry about it. Um, this, what it this is what it should look like. Um, so when you download that, you should have a little icon in your menu bar right up here, um, as you can see. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is download it on your iPod. So go into your iTunes store, you're going to want to download it, it's called Mobile Mouse. Um, you, you can get the free version, but the pro version is a lot better, there's a lot more features um, all the free version is is a mouse, um, and you're probably like, yeah, that's what I want it for, but you should see what the pro version can do, it's pretty unbelievable. So once you download the pro, or the free version, here is actually, here, one sec, here's the free version, here's the pro version, um, I'm just gonna open up the pro version. Um, so this is what it will look like, it will ask you to put in a password, um, and that's what you're gonna have to do so when you have this little icon on your menu bar you're gonna open that up and go to server settings and you're gonna want to make a password right here um, make any password you like then hit apply and then done and then when this opens up it's gonna ask for a password just put in the password that you did on your Mac and um, you should be good so once you open it up this is what you get um, if you have the pro version um, to as you can see there's like um, there's a keyboard on it, just shake your iPod to take it off, um, shake it to put it back on, and as you can see, watch the mouse on the screen, I am moving the mouse with my finger, or with the iPod. Um, now you have to have Wi-Fi to do this, um, so that's just letting you know, so if your computer isn't in a Wi-Fi zone, which I'm pretty sure it would be, um, then you cannot do this, or you can do this, uh, but my room doesn't have Wi-Fi, which is so I always have to make my videos like somewhere else um, but I am working on getting um, uh, Wi-Fi in my room soon um, so anyways so this is your mouse you can move it around anywhere you like um, there's settings up here uh, you get way more settings on um, the pro version as I said before change the frequency it's good to keep that on high um, oops sorry um, that just makes it be able to move around a lot more and then um, right along the top of the keyboard here you have all these different options if I were to hit this little down button you guys probably might not be able to see it um, oops, daisies. Um, if I hit that little down button it will load everything in my dock so as you can see everything in my dock is on my iPod right there so let's say I want to open up uh, system preferences I'm going to hit system preferences and look at that it opened up that is incredible um so yeah i'm just gonna close that you can close it if you go back to the keyboard on the top you can hit the command key and then q and it will quit that um so yeah that's cool um now i'm just gonna open up mozilla firefox for a second okay so mozilla firefox just opened now it brings you to this page on your ipod sorry if you guys can't see um now you can still move your mouse around and stuff if i were to click on the top i can type i'll show you that in a second but you can go back a page forwards a page sorry that was my cat if you just saw that uh you can refresh you can open uh, you can make a new tab um and then to type you're just going to go into the typing box or it already has and sorry let me just move my cat here um, sorry, you go to the typing box and you can type in whatever you want. Um, as you can see, it's typing it in and then you just hit enter. And there you go. And then if I want to go back, um, I believe I just go here and then hit back. Um, just like that. And there are crazy amount of settings here. If I were to click this, um, logo, it would open up my music, my iTunes. Um, and then I can hit play. 
it will start playing music. Oh, which is pretty cool. You can skip songs. You can go back songs. Um, it's a, it's a crazy amount of stuff. So that's just a quick glance. Or not really quick. I was pretty long. But that's just a glance at what you can do with your iPod. Um, so once again, this uh, pro version is two ninety nine in the um, iTunes store. And it's free in the App Store for your Mac. I will have the link for Windows. Um, so you should, guys should go ahead and download that. It's a really great application. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Macman here. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.